All right, Lakeland School Committee, this is your assistant superintendent. Today is Wednesday, May 6th. It's also a B-Day. Um, my wife watched my videos probably for the first time yesterday and said that on these walks, I, I, I don't really uh, shoot from a very good angle. So I'm, I'm going to try to shoot from a little bit of a better angle today. It's unseasonably cold and I'm wearing a sweatshirt in May, which is something that, that probably shouldn't be. Um, I want to keep this short as I've kept a lot of these short just because I feel as if it resonates a little bit better with everybody. So number one, attention, all AP students and families. AP exams begin on Monday, May 11th. Please make sure you log into the AP demo site so you can practice submitting your responses before the test day. In addition, please make sure that you have all the AP resources that have been sent to you via email by Ms. Ross and or by your AP teacher. If you haven't done so already, please read the AP testing guide. View the AP uh, exam day video on YouTube and print out the AP exam day checklist and the required resources for each AP exam you're taking. All of these steps will help you prepare for success on your AP exam. Please make sure you read through that. I, I read it verbatim as Ms. Ross sent it to me yesterday. I think I did an okay job reading and walking at the same time. Number two, talked about it yesterday. We've talked about it a few times. Yes, Governor Murphy did announce on Monday that school buildings, buildings, would be closed for the rest of the year but please just note we are still conducting virtual learning we're not done for the year it means a few things for us which goes to number three we are in quarter four quarter four as you know will uh, count the same as if we were in school same as quarter three same as quarter two same as quarter one ultimately your teachers have been exceptionally accommodating and understanding that will not change you have our guarantee on that however you have to uphold your end of the bargain please keep the lines of communication open Number four, gotten a lot of questions about locker clean out and books, and I think I addressed that pretty well yesterday. Don't worry about that stuff. We're still in school. We will have information for you. Don't worry about it. Regarding the end of the year, just so everybody knows, we have to go to school 180 days. So regarding an end of the year date, it's not gonna change all that much, but we have a Board of Ed meeting on Tuesday evening. We will be discussing some modifications to our school calendar. But again, ultimately, don't worry about that because that's out of your control anyway. Seniors, we're already talking about graduation plans in this kind of socially distant environment. I would assume that information would be forthcoming over the next week or so once everything is finalized again and approved and considered by our Board of Education. Next, I'm fired up about this. We are gonna be having a virtual coffee house. I'm super excited. Check out the video link that's in there. Um, thanks again to Mr. Eric White, Mr. Mike Kelly, uh, Mr. John Lauder, and Mr. Kel Pilshaw. I am really out of breath today. It's still Teacher Appreciation Week. Now, I'm gonna get to that in just a little bit because um, last night was a really, really, really awesome night. I'm trying to get a good angle here. In, um, in, in just the, the way that we received a correspondence from a student, but I'll talk about that in a second. For the next two weeks, ready? Here we go. Tomorrow, Thursday, May 7th. It's an A day. Friday, May 8th. It's a Lancer day. Monday, the 11th is a B day. Tuesday, the 12th is an A day. Wednesday, the 13th is a B day. Thursday, the 14th is an A day. And then Friday, May 15th, is a Lancer day. Um, that's pretty much, that's it today. I'm stopping. Just want to read through this. Yeah, that's pretty much where we are. So um, the coffee house thing, I'm really, I'm really excited about. It's going to be pretty awesome. And uh, if anybody has ever seen one of those events live, they're, they're a lot of fun. And with the fact that you guys can kind of edit videos and do like uh, little TikTok things and stuff, it'd be a it'd be a pretty cool event. So you know, participate. We know that we're gonna have staff participating as well. So I, I kind of want to get into this. Um, yesterday, last evening, I don't like to send emails to staff in the evening, but um, man, we received an unbelievable correspondence from a student who graduated last year um, for Teacher Appreciation Week, and. You know, I'm not going to give the student's name because ultimately I, I really haven't asked them if we had the permission, but, you know, they asked me to pass along this three-page written letter, which was beautifully written um, to our, our faculty and staff. It was just worth sending in the evening, and the letter was incredible. It was phenomenal, and it talked about the impact that our staff has had on um, her for not just 
her experiences in high school, but after high school, as well as a successful college student this past this past year. And it was just so nice to see the impact that our staff has had on people who have left our school building. And the responses that I got back from staff is that I, you know, I put the caveat in there. Listen, I apologize for sending you guys an email in the evening. I don't like to do that. I don't like to email staff after work hours because ultimately, and I know it's, it's kind of hard to believe, you know, since I, a lot of us, when we were in elementary school, at least I did, you know, believe that teachers actually slept in the school building. But no, we, we are real people outside of, outside of school. Uh, you know, they, they deserve kind of a, a private life and some private time too. So I don't like to send emails after work hours, but I did. And mostly everybody started with their, their email with, hey, please don't apologize. This is an awesome letter. This was such a really, really, really cool thing to see. And it was really just amazing to see the impact that our staff has had on the school community and you guys. So my challenge is this, hasn't changed. Continue to reach out to staff members because man, if they're having a tough day, and we all do, those little notes of appreciation go such a long way. And I wanna say this, to all those people who are upholding their end of the bargain, our students who are upholding their end of the bargain, you know, when it comes to virtual learning, I know that this isn't easy. I have a kid who's in school right now and it's exceptionally difficult and she's in kindergarten, so it's a little bit different to get her motivated and keep her motivated day after day after day after day after day to submit her work. And we're talking about reading and writing and foundational things that, you know, can be very challenging for a kindergartner. She's working through it the best she possibly can. But, you know, for our students who are, you know, continuing to take on these advanced concepts and continuing to, to, to show true grit and really work through everything, man, I appreciate you. And I appreciate the effort that you're putting in to what is, you know, kind of an unfortunate situation. And I'm going to tell you right now, for those people who are upholding their end of the bargain and who are working their butts off and continue to develop their own schedules, I promise you are going to continue to be an elite person. And this is going to pay such big dividends for you when you get out into the quote unquote real world. Because the skills that you are going to develop right now in you know, understanding exactly how to manage your time and how to be self-motivated. I'm so proud of you guys. I really am. For all those people who, you know, probably could do a little bit better, this is your challenge now. Do a little bit better because I know you can. Talk to you guys soon.